cart before the horse in its funding of the controversial multi-billion dollar West Connects project. A report has found millions of dollars has been handed over prematurely, but supporters of the road say that doesn't matter. Sydney needs it. It's one of the nation's largest infrastructure projects, slicing through Sydney in a series of roads and tunnels and costing $16.8 billion. Most of the money for WestConnex is coming from the state government, but today the Auditor General found both Federal Labor and the Coalition jumped the gun in committing billions of dollars in funding before its merits were fully assessed. It is not unusual for there to be payments uh, at an early stage of the process. Labor says its funding pledge was linked to conditions, no new tolls on existing roads, and that the new road went to Port Botany and the CBD. It might be the only project in history in which people have started digging a hole at one end without knowing where it was going to come up. The report also found the $2 billion loan from the federal government to New South Wales designed to hurry up the M5 section of the project by two years has done no such thing. Construction is now less than six months ahead. Due processes were ignored or manipulated. Planning has been done on the run from the beginning with West Connex. The Auditor General doesn't criticise the West Connex as a project. It's design, construction or route. The value in this project uh, is there. Our support for this project remains solid. Sydney needs to change how we tackle congestion. Lizzie Pearl, Nine News.